Alright, so now that we've gone through and transformed our data, let's go back and actually run the regression and see if our residuals plot has gotten any better. We're going to go to Analyze, Regression, Linear. We're going to use the log version of the PCLC for the TES. We want the square root version, the MSPSS total, we want the reflected log version, and the NCW we're going to go ahead and use the original version. For plots, again, we want residuals on the y-axis, predicted on the x-axis. We can leave the rest of that. Let's go ahead and get the other things we'll be needing for our regression in hopes that it'll run all right. So we want descriptives, part and partial correlations, and collinearity diagnostics so we can check that last assumption of multicollinearity. The other last assumption we want to check, we're going to go under Save and click on Mahalanobis. It's going to check for outliers in the solution or multivariate outliers. Click on Continue and click on OK. Let's first start by looking at our residuals plot to see if it's gotten any better. So as we come down here, we see a little less clumping down here and a little bit better spread across. We're centered a little bit closer around zero than we were before, but it's still not a beautiful residuals plot. We're clearly missing data down here in the bottom left hand corner and we clearly have some extra gathering of data right here that isn't quite what we would like to see, but it looks better than it did originally. Now to check for multicollinearity, we can come under the collinearity statistics under the co coefficients box in our regression printout. The tolerance is equal to 1 minus the squared multiple correlation for that variable. We want all of these to be close to 1.0 and as far away from 0 as we can get. All of these are beautiful tolerance statistics. They're all above 0.9, so I'm not worried at this point about multicollinearity. One final assumption to check is Mahalanobis distance to see if we have any concerns with outliers in the solution or multivariate outliers. And with a Mahalanobis distance maximum value of 12, I expect that's all right. We could look that up in a uh, chi-square table in order to check that value, but I believe the maximum we're looking for is about 16 given the number of predictors we have. So I think we're okay this time. So that's how we would check all of the assumptions for a multiple regression.